Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we are over at the Outlet Mall because it is the first day for Hot Cash, which means I'm gonna be able to go over to Hot Topic and use this right here for $15 off of 30 on any Funko Pops that I want, which is really exciting because I saw on my Hot Topics Instagram, they got in a bunch of really great stuff, so fingers crossed they still have it, and let's get started. All right, everybody, so we have made it into Hot Topic, and there is a lot of really great figures today. With the first one over here being from Demon Slayer, and I know that there is a chase for this figure, and I doubt they have it. I mean, there is a bunch missing at the top, so they probably don't anymore. And I've never actually seen Demon Slayer, so I'm not going to be getting this one, but if you guys want to check them out a little bit closer up there is the figure. It looks pretty nice. And then I've talked about twice in the past, but if you guys want to see him, here he is. And if you don't know, there is a chase for this one, too, where his face is like pretty much like ripped in half, or like his mask is ripped off. It's pretty neat. I'll pop it on the screen, and this is what the common one is looking like. Still really nice. And then to the right of that, they also have Nelson Muntz, and we've taken a look at this one on the channel before. I have the one with the kind of like overseas sticker that's a special edition, not the Hot Topic one, but I'm not going to get another one just because of that. But it's still nice to see here today. And then as I get a little bit farther over, we've got a bunch of the other Simpsons ones. We also have Pluto on the People Mover, as well as Mickey, and I am definitely going to be getting this one today because I do not have this one for my set. And then we're not going to look at him too close right now because we will talk about him more when we get to the office, so let's keep hunting for now. And actually, right next to Mickey, they do have the stitch with Boba Tea, and this is actually kind of the reason I came today because I do try to collect as many stitch ones as possible, and I thought that this one was pretty cute, so we definitely have to get this thing. And then the last one that we've got in this row here is the Diamond Edition Bell, and I don't think I'm going to be getting this one today because I do have another version of it. I believe it's Bell that I've got, right? Let me look on the back here. It's either Bell. No, I have Cinderella. But either way, I don't think I'm going to be getting this one today. I just figured I'd show it up because this thing is pretty shiny. Oh, and would you check this out, guys? They actually have a couple of the ones from Monsters. Yeti, the scented one. I did pick this one up a little while ago, as well as the new Mike Wazowski. And then Boo, which I do not have for the collection. And I will definitely be getting this thing today. And now, guys, at the bottom here, I noticed that they have every single Hawkeye figure that I'm missing because I got the Chase Yelena a little while ago, but I do not have the common one. And I don't know if I'm going to be getting every single one of the characters from the set, but I was still thinking of getting Hawkeye, so I'll probably grab them today, especially because it's Cash. And I found some more pops that I figured I might as well show off, like this one here from Danganronpa 3, as well as the Archer Bemo, and some of the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th Anniversary figures. And because I'm probably not going to be purchasing any of the Yu-Gi-Oh! figures, if you want to see the sticker a little bit closer up, there it is. And then I noticed, guys, up here they do have the Crunch Berries one, which is pretty cool, and I do already have this one in the collection, but if you don't have it, it's nice to know that they've still got it. Oh, and you know what, guys? This is the first time I've ever seen these two in person. These are some more Funko's gold figures, and if you guys want to check it out, they have Left Eye as well as T-Boz, and I don't think they have the third one in the set... It doesn't look like it. Oh, and check this one out, guys. This is the last one that they've got. It is the Diamond Edition Maleficent on Throne. I don't think I'm going to be getting this one today because I do have a bunch of Maleficent in the collection already, but it's cool to see. And if you guys want to see what the entire pop section is looking like, because I'm not going to be able to talk about everything today, this is it here. Like, there's a lot of really great figures, and let me know what you guys would have picked up in the comment section below. And now, before we get out of here, if you guys want to check it out, there's a bunch of Pocket Pops, and I'm thinking of getting the Diamond Edition Peter Pan because this thing is sick. All right, everybody, so we are now out of Hot Topic. And before we go back to the office to take a look at everything that I got today, I wanted to let you guys know that with Hot Cash, everything inside of this bag came out to $43 and something cents. I don't exactly know, but that was a really great deal for, hold on, four figures as well as a pocket pop. All right, everybody, so we are now back from Hot Topic, and I was super excited that they had pretty much everything that I went for. And so I guess let's just go through these one at a time, and I think we'll start with the Pocket Pop because I did not expect to purchase this today. And it's going to be kind of hard to show, but if you guys want to check it out, it is the Diamond Edition Peter Pan. And for a lot of my Pocket Pops, I do keep them in the box because I've got the one or two on my keys. I don't need like 50 or 60 of them there. So until I'm actually going to put them on my keys, I have them on a bulletin board. And I should probably do an updated collection of all of my Pocket Pops. If you'd like to see that, let me know. And now for the normal size pops, let's start with Hawkeye. And looking on the back of the box now, I am only missing Maya as well as the common Yelena, but I don't think I'm gonna be getting those ones for my set because I didn't really expect to finish it off, so I figured let's just grab him today. And actually, now that I mentioned that, I was only originally planning on getting Hawkeye as well as Kate Bishop, but then when I found the Elena Chase, he can't leave it behind. And taking a little bit of a closer look at Hawkeye, I think they did a pretty good job of them, especially because this is a brand new head sculpt for him, and I think the entire body is new too. And I mean, here's the thing, when you're looking at Hawkeye, he isn't really the most interesting superhero. He just has a bow in his hand, but I think they gave him enough detail, it looks pretty nice. And then after Hawkeye, let's take a look at this right here, Mickey Mouse on the People Mover. And it's too bad that the only other one that they had today was the Pluto because I just got this one the other day. 
it was still on the table from a couple days ago. I figured I might as well show it off. And when you look at the back of the box on this one, they show every single one of them in the set. They've got Mickey Mouse on the People Mover, as well as Pluto, which is the two that I have. And then just yesterday, I was able to order Stitch on the People Mover off of the Funko Shop. If you guys are wondering, that one is a Funko Shop exclusive, and last time I checked, it should still be available. I don't know why I'm checking my imaginary watch. And now the only one that I'm missing out of the set, and it's too bad they didn't have it today, was Minnie Mouse on the People Mover. And I was thinking about it, they still have the hooks on the back and the front, so it would be cool if they could add more characters to the set in the future. And some of the ones that I was thinking of was like Buzz Lightyear, or maybe somebody from Star Wars, possibly Darth Vader, because he's a pretty notable character. Oh, and actually, I have two other people that they could do because they are exclusive to Tomorrowland. We've got John, of course, from the Carousel of Progress. He's the guy that saves a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. He's the main one. I didn't actually know his name. I had to look it up. And the other one that I was thinking of was Mr. Tom Morrow, who you can only hear from inside of the People Mover where they page him. And I think it'd be kind of funny if they did make a figure for him. And if they were to do it, the People Mover would definitely be the perfect spot to do it. And actually, now that I'm looking at the two other figures that we've got, it's pretty much all from Tomorrowland. And let's get on to this one here, which is going to be Boo from the Monster Set. And now I know it isn't specifically her in Tomorrowland, but you can go to the Monsters Inc. laugh floor, so it's pretty close. And really quickly, I wanted to pop this one out of the box because I want to see how they have the eyes connected to the top. And you know what? They look pretty nice. I'm liking this one a lot. And if you guys are wondering, the Boo's head does not turn. It makes sense because she does have the suit on and they are connected in the back. And I really do like the amount of detail that Funko put into this one because it looks like a mop on the top there. And then the eyes, now that I'm looking at them, are kind of like coming out of the middle and then hanging just over the front. And also, some of you guys might remember the original Boo that came out a long, long time ago. I want to say maybe like 2012 or 2013. This is definitely a nice upgrade. And then the last figure that I was able to get, and this was kind of the reason that I went today, was Stitch with Boba because I'm trying to get every single Stitch figure I possibly can. And I know I don't have every single Stitch figure in the collection, but I am trying to get as many as I possibly can, so when I can grab one for retail, I try to. And really quickly, I did want to take this one out of the box because I want to see how they did the Boba Cup a little bit closer up. And you know what, when I had it in the box, I thought it was little clear circles, but now that I'm looking at it, it actually is like little black dots painted on, which is okay, it still looks like Boba, but it's too bad you can't see inside the cup. And maybe that's why they did the black circles instead of it being clear, because it probably would have looked a little bit weird, so it makes sense. And I'm also noticing that this one does have a base to go along with it, but I think you should be safe. Maybe it's just in case because of how big his ears are. And if you guys are curious about the back of the box, they don't have anything new coming soon. It's just the set that came out last year. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all of that, but this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Drippin' like a school. It's gonna fall with school. Maybe gonna, gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B54 thump. I'm a hump on a bone. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Hey. Lama Lassie.